What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about how to get any girl's phone number. Yes, I know. It's always you who have to ask because them bitches cannot open their mouth to ask you for a fucking number. So today I'm gonna try to make it easy on you because you know you want the digit. You know nowadays the bitch is gonna tell you well I give you my Instagram. No bitch, I want your real number. So today we are getting digits. Hella digits. Let's go. Number one, never ask for the phone number straight up. No, 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 sir. There is no, may I get your number? Can I get your number? No, you are not fucking asking. Because at this point, what do you do? You put her in a place of advantage. She's gonna feel like she's superior. You're putting her kind of like on a pedestal because she can refuse you. So in her mind, she's like, I'm the queen on my phone and this motherfucker want my number? Uh, let me think. No, I'm good. You know, no, you don't want to put yourself in a position where she can deny you. In her mind, you're borderline begging. I, I am telling you, I'm not saying that's how I, I take it because you know, me, you can come and ask me anything. But um, yes, a lot of girls in their mind is just like, you're trying to, to plead with her. Hey, can I have it? Please, come on. Uh, you know, No, don't do that shit. You tell her, bitch, give me your number. You don't say it like that, but pretty much that's what you say. You guys are talking. And maybe it's time for you to go or maybe you gotta go do something else i don't know but you tell her hey uh, the conversation was great give me your number so we can keep on talking you know something like that you don't ask you tell bitch give me the fucking digits i rephrase it hey the conversation was great give me your number so we can keep talking that's it Watch, it's hard for somebody to say no because in a way you're not really asking her. You're not asking first of all, so she can't say no. Why are you gonna say no? I didn't ask you a question, bitch. But also, you're talking about the conversation was good, so you wanna keep talking. So it's related to the conversation. It's not really like, I'm trying to holler at you. She can take it like that, obviously, but that's not what you said. You're really talking about the conversation and it was good, so let me get that number. So give me that number. Yes, give me your number. Give me. You gotta be demanding. Number two, wait for the right time. I would say, obviously, do not ask as soon as you get there, hey, give me your number. No, that's, that's not gonna work. So not in the beginning. Try to make her feel a certain way, you know? Give her a feel for you before you ask for the number because we don't wanna give our number to somebody that might be creepy, we didn't talk, I don't know you. Like, So you gotta take the time to have a little conversation with her, get to know her a little bit so she can get to know you too. And then the easiest is when she's laughing. Hopefully you can make a bitch laugh. What I tell you all the time, if she laughs, you're like closer to, I haven't done this for a long time, jumping in the pussy. Yes, you are very close. So since she's laughing, at that point you tell her, oh, give me your number. You know, again, you don't ask. You're like, oh my God, you're, you're hilarious, like, give me, that, give me your number, we gotta we got hang out, we gotta do something, you know, just like this, it's like, because it's like when she's at her peak, when the conversation is at its peak, that's when you fucking ask, because it's good vibes, good energy, everybody laughing, most likely she's not gonna turn around and be like, uh, no, she's gonna give it to you because you just made her laugh, and she's like, oh, fun, more fun, he's gonna take my number and then we're gonna laugh some more that's how it's gonna register in her head and watch she's gonna give it to you so make sure you ask for the number when it's at its high because also if you ask at the end there's some stuff you can ask at the end a little bit but if it's at the end and the conversation already kind of died down now you guys are more back on like the serious level and shit it's it might be a little harder but you can but i'm gonna tell you how i would recommend you ask when it's on the high note of the conversation number three another good way is to get to know her for example if it's like a girl that you see like maybe she lives on your street so you when you walk your dog you see her all the time or maybe your dogs have mingled before that's the easy way but you know you guys are not really talking like that or maybe that's your co-worker you work in a big building and you don't you know you don't talk to her you gotta get to know her a little bit or she lives in your building and you see her often whatever you know or the gym you see her often at the gym also the grocery store anywhere anywhere that you see somebody on a regular that's perfect but don't go and ask her for the number right away what you do is like you gotta try to get to know her a little bit 
Oh, so at the grocery store. Oh, so I see that you like this. How is that? You, you know, you got to make conversation and she's going to be like, yeah, I love this thing because it helps me make this dish and it makes the dish inc incredible. You know, you got to start having a little type of uh, relationship with her so that when it's time to ask the number, she's not like, uh, you're a fucking stranger. So it's easy. When you see somebody often, it's easy. You got to talk to them here and there. You know, don't be thirsty. Don't make it seem like you're trying to holler at her. You're going to see her again because you know she lives around or whatever. So make sure that you get to know her first a little bit. Then you ask for the digit. And again, you don't ask. You're like, well, give me your number. You know, I got some recipes we can share or whatever you know you tell her bitch give me the number and watch because your neighbors we talk we see each other it's a familiar face make sure you smile when you talk to her or say hello you know whatever right there it's like a familiarity between you and she's not gonna feel like uh no you're a stranger no we live in the same area. We're cool. We're, we're friends. Borderline. We're friends. Number four, create the perfect excuse. When I say this one, it's like you got to find a way to, to tell her you got to go. So either you act like your phone is ringing, nobody calling, and you talk. Hopefully your phone is on silence. So if somebody calls, you know, it's not like you were on the phone with nobody. But anyways, or you get somebody to call you or you get a text, whatever. You tell her, hey, I got to run. Give me your number so we can finish this conversation yes easy and if openly the conversation was good again you're using that as i want to finish the conversation that is why i'm getting your number i'm not hollering at you i'm just trying to finish this conversation because it interests me and it's a very exciting conversation but yes i'm really excited into your pussy but we're not going to tell her that yet and um yeah so that's how you get the number number five give her your phone number you're like hey here's my number give me a call again you tell her give me a call so she takes the number down like most girls you tell me that i take the number down like i, I might not call but i'll take the number down and also in this one you don't seem as needy because you're like i'm gonna give you the number then it's up to you to use it and also if she does use it it really shows that she's interested so right there there is no ambiguity uh, I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to say it, but ambiguity, there is none because she's the one reaching out to you. You already know girls are not going to just hit you up for friends. No, she hits you up because she's interested in fucking you. I mean, maybe not all that yet, but in the hopes of that. Or the other one that you can use is you give her your phone and you're like, put your number in my phone. Tell her again, the whole thing you, you are not fucking asking, put your number in my phone. So then she might give you a fake one, but most likely when people do that to me, I'm just like, so not ready to handle. I give the number, like seriously, I give the number. Some people are saying, oh, you're going to give the fake one. And I'm like, no, because a lot of guys are going to call me on the spot and be like, yeah, so I'm calling you right now so you can uh, save me, you know? So I'm not going to be like, ah, yeah, yeah. And then the phone is not ringing and it's weird, you know. So usually I do give the real number. Number six, be ready for rebound question. So let's say, give me your number. And she has the audacity to say, uh, for what? You got to be ready. Don't answer like, because I'd like to call you. That's, I'm telling you, I mean, that's the real answer, but it's lame to her. So don't say that. Just, I don't know. You got to figure out something to say. Save yourself. Don't be stuck. Say something though. And number seven, don't be persistent. You ask the bitch for the number and she's like, no. And then you're like, but do you know who I am? Do you know who I'm about to be? I can help you with your business. I can change your life. I don't care, motherfucker. Like if I said no, it's because I do not want to give you my number. So be, you being persistent is annoying. That's how it's gonna come off. You're annoying. And then if you say any of the shit I just say, I'm gonna look at you like, motherfucker, what? Like, do I know who you are or who you're about to be or you can't help? Like, shut the fuck up. You know, that sounds crazy. I've heard these before. So that's why I'm telling you, I'm spitting. <laughs> but that's why I'm telling you, don't persist. If she said no, it's probably because she really doesn't want to because the girl is gonna be like, ah, I got a boyfriend again. You know, she's, but if she says no, <laughs> It's lost. The, the cause is lost and you need to, to keep it moving. 
yes it's very embarrassing when guys are like whoa this and that now you're proving yourself to a bitch you asked for a number she said no keep it moving keep it fucking moving and go get somebody else's number seriously so that's it hopefully this video was helpful for you you're gonna get all them fucking digits left and right you're gonna be like who is cindy who is marlene who is antonella i don't know how i found that fucking name antonella but who is she? Yes, who are they? I, I don't know. I got a call, you know, too many numbers. Yes, so, uh, what else? You can like, share, comment this video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Melly Monaco and at Melly Love XO. Yes, you can do all of this for me, for moi, pour moi, pour moi. I never speak French to you guys. Peut-être que je devrais commencer à parler en français, comme ça, you guys. I'm mixing the English and the French. Sometimes I don't even know how to speak French anymore. When my mom calls me, I'm like, uh, how you say this? And she's like, I can't help you. I don't know what you asking me to help you with because my mom doesn't speak English. But yes, anyways, that's it. I am leaving for the day. Have a good day, lovers. Make sure it's a good one. Yes. Oh.